So uh, we did the deep dive on building the IPFS community. And uh, in particular, we have, actually I'll point you to this link here, about 20 different problems and solution ideas. There's a lot of things going on that I think we can do. The, the ones that I'd really like to point out is we identified basically methods to onboard right now, especially new open source contributors to the Protocol Labs products themselves, uh, might be missing. And we like the idea of something like uh, Duolingo, where the model is effectively tutorials to teach you how to build tutorials. So it, it feeds itself, right? Uh, we also talked about there's a wide potential to expand our community outside of the, the dev audience in particular. Um, so there's really, I think, a chance to uh, expand the overall appeal of IPFS widely. And uh, so basically a tool to help someone uh, self-identify the best place to plug in based on really what they already know and what they are interested or care about within this kind of decentralized systems that we're building. And uh, from there, they can actually get plugged into the local communities. Uh, and then we think that uh, we really need a method to organically and virally grow as a community uh, locally without any need for direct support from Protocol Labs. So we think that this, we can get some support in building templates and tools and content that's reusable specifically to help organizers succeed and again to kind of pay it forward, to go and recruit the next guy and teach him how to do it. And then uh, finally we thought that we really need a way to uh, kind of uh, give, I like the analogy of kind of like a well-timed buff in a game um, to a community. So. It, it, Timing here for major milestones and launches uh, can be really important to get some of the core team coming in and have like just a call in, a remote call in just to say hi to people. It draws a big crowd, it's really exciting. And uh, yeah, so I think that's probably it from us. Well done.